Hi, man, Drops Wrong, and welcome to the back of this teardown lab. Excuse the mess, I haven't tidied before pressing record. That's because this was an impromptu, off the cuff little looksy look that I wanted to do in this BBC Micro. This was my workhorse BBC Micro that had been fully restored in the past by somebody. But I'm just checking it out because when I plugged it in last time, it didn't work. So we're going to turn it on. And you can hear that a constant do without the. So I thought it might be worth just taking it apart and having a quick look. As you know, BBC Micros are quite large, so I can't fit everything in frame, but I can assure you, bottom left corner, I am unscrewing the screws in the back here. And I do like this one. It's got very rough finish. This is one of the, I believe it's an early one. This has got the, the deep, deep print shell. So we'll flip it over. There are some screws on the bottom to take care of. You see, there's my... SD card. I have unplugged the Raspberry Pi tube accelerator because that gets in the way of the screws. But I don't think, do we have to take out that? I don't think we do. We're not taking out the motherboard today, hopefully. So we'll just flip that over and then we can prise it all apart. Da da! So first thing to check is some of these connections, because you can see here, I do have a little gadget I've made, which is, oh crikey, what did this do? It gave you more memory or something, I can't remember. But it is clipped onto a couple of legs of some components. Ah, I wonder if that is the issue. And I wonder if I can remember where that end had to be clipped. Um, yeah, let's, um, Let's see about that. Let's plug it in <clears throat> again. I don't think... I honestly don't think it's anything to do with it, but we'll just investigate. I'm going to first start, though, by just pushing down all the chips, because you can see this motherboard doesn't have any standoffs on it. And I don't know if it originally did, but this machine's definitely been hacked around with, and not just by me. So just moving the machine around could do that. <laughs> that was a super easy fix, isn't it? My only thing now is that how do I know where I had that other doodad clip to? I'll have to remember now what this memory thing was, but I'll try to remember the chip. I'm just reading it off there. It's a Hyundai HY62256ALP-70. I think it was a RAM chip. And by hooking this up, you give it the extra address line so you can read and write from it. But I never used it, so I'll probably just leave that alone. Hopefully that's been slightly interesting to you.